Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Puck and Stuff podcast. I don't even remember what episode this is, but hey, the same thing. You know the name of the game where we talk about Puck and other stuff, and then you guys discuss what, how wrong we are. My name is T-Dog, that's B-Dog. How are you guys doing today? Well, we got a few things going on, but first, how are you doing good, sir? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good, T-Dog, over here. I enjoy my weekend, and okay, man. Yeah, hey, what is this episode sponsored by again? <sighs> I, can't, I can't remember at the top of my head. I mean, oh, we've uh, been doing this for about six months and we don't have the sponsor, sadly. But, hey, this episode is sponsored by, well, a man can dream. Uh, a man can dream, well. Yes, he can. Right now, they're allowed to, so we'll see. But We're allowed to right now. As of right now, we're yeah, allowed perfect. to. But, hey, guys, um, we've been gone for a couple days and uh, some more news has hit the... NHL and uh, T Dog, what we got for today? A few things here, hey. So I guess we'll just go through the signings as first off, like we usually do, and then get into more discussion of other things that happened. But let's look at the first thing. Well, finally, Lou Lamorello has awakened from his slumber and has signed a few players there. So finally. I mean, we were all guessing that they were signed at the start of the season, at the start of the off season, and they just weren't told till now. But Noah Dobson signed three years worth four mil AAV. This one kind of sings a little bit in the sense that, you know, this was Calgary's pick, right? And we lost lost because of the trade for Travis Hamanick. Dobson, oh, goodness, that was terrible. Dobson, though, <laughs> hasn't had, like, he hasn't had his breakout yet. He will have his breakout, right? Like, his last season, he played 80 games, 51 points, 13 goals, 30 assists. Not too bad, but, I mean, I think, um, I, I mean, Calgary's got the depth, so I don't think it's too <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't now, hurt as bad as it should, that's for sure, and, especially know, with how our defensive core is looking, but this would have been a nice piece exactly. to have. It might, right? Uh, as well, they signed Kiefer Bellows, one year, $1.2 million. Alex Romanoff, three years worth $2.5 mil. Um, I like the signing. Um, I still remember just when he was getting the trade there, and I didn't realize Doc was coming back. So I was like, why would you trade Romanov? I just thought <laughs> it was a good young piece, but I, I think the Doc trade is pretty... I think it'll speak for itself. Yeah. And then... Uh, the other one was uh, Dennis Chulewiski, which was a two-year deal worth 762k. Uh, but it's a bridge deal there two-way. So a few signings there. I don't know what you think about uh, the Islanders. But honestly, I think they're sticking with the same team. I, in my opinion, don't agree. I think they should have done a few more moves. I think New York is – they feel like much like a Minnesota team, how Minnesota is always in that middle pack mediocre they're just <laughs> there right like they can make the playoffs but there's no splash and every time i say there's gonna be a splash they don't do anything so. no they never do and you're kind of right in the money with that uh new, new york could have made quite a few moves this uh off season but they never went for it because they were really into the Gaudreau talks and then actually recently they were in the cadre talks and then yeah. cadre came out of nowhere and stole that from them but yeah they're kind of looking with the same team they signed their uh, bright spots with no dobson for sure and i yeah they're kind of looking with the same team but they're still decently young to be able to do something so i'll still give them that i'll they, still give they them do that. have some young players that's very true right so you, you can't hate on that i just think that the team does lack in the defense core seems older and uh, I think an older age defense core is something you can't really. It's something that's maybe not the best idea to have in the new modern age of the NHL. Mm-hmm. I think Sorokin and um, and Verlamov is an okay one A one B goaltending tandem, but I feel like there are better out there, and there wasn't really that much, anyways, to really look at unless you wanted to overpay on a player like Campbell or. Or something like that, or some other goaltender. But I guess I guess they think that sticking with the same team from last year is going to help them. Is is, is going to give a different result. So I guess we'll see what it, what happens. They might definitely improve, but I don't see them going anywhere far with that core they have right now. They might, yeah, like they still will probably improve from what they did last year, but. I don't see any crazy improvements from the Islanders uh, this year for sure. So. Yeah, that's what I think of that. And what do we got next? Into some other news there. Carolina. So Winnipeg seems to lose another, I would say, decently important piece. But they lose Paul Snastny to the Carolina Hurricanes. So they get better uh, with a one-year deal worth $1.5 million. Hmm. Carolina's really going on that uh, veteran kind of signing year, eh? They're really trying to get some. Very much so. They're trying to get that veteran leadership for that deep playoff run that they're trying to attempt this year for sure. 
But honestly, good signing. It's just like the one year, 1.5. There's not a lot of hurt to this contract. And Paul Stasny has shown his worth of coming in those moments, especially during the game. And I, it's another def, another veteran piece that they probably need for the youngster. So just kind of same thing with Brett Burns and then uh, Max Pacioretty, another good yeah. def signing. I mean, and I guess I guess he would somewhat replace what Pacioretty yeah, his position would be him, you know, being out for six months. And mm-hmm. uh, he's had an underrated career, in my opinion. I mean, look at this, right? Uh, he's played uh, 1,072 games, 800 points. Yeah. Right? 284 goals, 516 point, uh, assists, sorry. Uh, the season last wasn't as good. <sighs> the last few have been odd, right? Um, but I'm averaging about 40 points. A season is still good, not it's still decent numbers, especially as being like some sort of like a, a bottom six piece for se. Yeah. Um. But I mean, hey, if you're adding 40, 50 points with for the Hurricanes with a team that already has talent that can s- score, then you know that could help in a few games, especially in the games that might be tighter scoring. You need that extra goal to, you know, push for right and get that extra point there to make it to a, a good playoff seating. But I think Carolina at this point, right, it's more or less just how are they going to do in the playoffs? It's not, of course, are they going to make the playoffs? It's just seeing how are they – because they, they, they fare a little differently this year again, right, as as they did last year from the, the year prior. So we'll see how they look. But I like, Carolina isn't intriguing to me, man. Like, I, I, I can see them – the cars go – the cars play right – or played right. Man, Carolina could, you know, have a decent run. Carolina I, made a good signing here. I – I can't really complain. I guess we'll have to see if they make that deep run for a for a cup or not. I guess Islanders. Cause Islanders on paper do have maybe just didn't work that season. I don't know. Islanders just to me are a team that I don't have much intrigue in, in the sense that I, gotta, I think they just got to shape up a few things. I just don't think that they're they're in a position that. They want to win it all, right? I feel you like gotta do a few more asset changes. Though it was a weird offseason. If you don't want to pay, you weren't getting anyone, right? Like, yeah, that's how it was. I mean, with any of them, uh, maybe does Lula Morello wait for the cap to somewhat increase? It's supposed to increase next season, I think it was. So that increase, right? Then maybe look. Little- Lamorello's like, all right, and he starts splashing a little bit. But I don't think it's the type of GM to really splash, it seems like. No, well, to be honest, we thought Brad Tree Living was kind of the GM that wouldn't really splash either. But, like, as I look at the Islanders right now, they kind of are set in the same situation they have with John Tavares, in a sense, mm-hmm. of, like, rising franchise center, and you're trying to build around them, but you don't have the right GM exactly to deal with that. Because I think uh, they're kind of putting... Matt Barzell on that pedestal of like first franchise center, just like they did with Tavares, which makes sense because he's one of their best players. But I, I, you could see a possibility of Barzell leaving sometime soon if they don't go up the right tracks that they want to with in with the Islanders. And a lot of qu- there's a lot of questions in with the Islanders even right now as it is. So they probably oh. won't make playoffs this year. But there's that question of. Could that potentially make Barzell think of, oh, do I want to stay with the Islanders uh, as a, long as he does? He is an RFA. Oh, man, I'm going to sneeze again. But he is an RFA uh, come the season after this one. And oh, the yeah. The average of brought in the forwards, 7 to $5 million per player. Palmieri gets 5. JP Pajot gets 5. Bailey gets 5. Brock Nelson gets 6. Anders Lee gets 7. Same with Barzell. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, he could. I don't know if you... I, some of these might tie up a little bit, right? I just, I don't know. Islanders, I think they just need to make make a splash, change a few things up. I, that's what I think. I just think the team is just too much at a standstill. But, anyways, we'll keep we'll we'll see what you guys think in the comments there. But we'll yeah, move on from the Islanders down. there. Go for a few more signings here. Um, here we go. Yeah, so San Jose they signed Noah Gregor, one year, nine fifty k. I like that another young piece. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean they're just gonna tank for Bedard, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how many. Um, First years get top, uh, top six minutes. Yeah, so that'll be literally. Fun. Good for good for San Jose. Yeah, good signing. Um, signing. Another signing as well. This one intrigued me as well because I want to see what he does with his career. Philip Sedena, three years worth one point eight two five million. Um, so I guess the Iser plan has Sedena a part of that. And honestly, with Sedena, how I see it is, um, I think he will be able to eventually fill pucks in the net for the other team, but. 
Yeah, it'll take some time. I think it'll be somewhat like a Lindholm. Maybe he will eventually need a change in scenery after the contract, but I see this as more of a prove me, prove it to me deal, right? Because two million, less than two million, is not too, not a crazy number. But hey, think of it like this: Zidane eventually gets his stride going. Say he scores a thirty goal season, then that two million is a steal. Exactly. Right? So we'll see how that works. I don't know what you think about this. Uh, Philip Zadina, he was. He was drafted pretty high a couple of years ago by Detroit, and he did show a lot of promise once he came out uh, into the NHL. This this year was his actual first full season with the team. He played 74 games. He put up 10 goals, 14 assists, 24 points with a plus minus of minus 24. So not a bat, not like the greatest full season. You just went under 30, and this you're kind of right on the money with this one as well. With this is Steve Eiserman's uh, prove it to me deal, three years, just under two mil. And if he goes on the right way, if he starts kind of going on the right way, this could be potentially kind of a really star studded uh, left winger for Detroit in a few years if this goes the right way. Oh yeah, I just because imagine. honestly, like. 74 games, just under 30. It's not great, but for a player as young as him, and he's still developing with such a young core team, it's like, it's showing progress, right? Because, like, uh, his 2021 season, he played 49. He put up 19 points, minus four. But, like, you, yeah, it's kind of a prove it to me deal of where you can go next with this team, or are we just getting rid of you after the three Yeah, years? no, and if you, like, so, I mean, eh. It all works out, right? Like, I line with him and, like, Larkin and, let's say... Um, Mason Raymond. Or uh, Lucas Raymond. Yeah, Lucas I know I say always the Mason, Mason Raymond. Raymond. Yeah, I'm like, too used to that. Imagine that, right? That'd be started. That'd be a lot of points, right? So... But also, Detroit right now is such... It's, like, looking at their, like, rookies right now is absolute loaded. Like, if you look at their top 10 uh, rookies right now with Detroit, it is loaded. And it's absolutely yeah. insane. Because this team's been, like drafting and kind of rebuilding for like you could possibly say like the last five to eight years it hasn't been a terrible though like it's always been intriguing right every, yeah. every every pick they get every move they make it's like they get better i mean like i i, I think with that cop sign i'm like goodness gracious man yeah i'm i'm intrigued to see i'm gonna definitely have another eye open there for the the wings because i really do think that the wings are getting really really close to becoming uh playoff contenders again not now i would say probably give two, it two three years. years two two or three years yeah and steve then eiser plan man probably i bet you at the end of this decade they probably have won a, probably won another cup <laughs> i mean i don't know that's way it's far way far down the road but you never know Good man. prediction we're Good prediction. We, weirder things have happened right so yeah we'll see how it is i think the signing's fine don't have a problem with it um all i know is that we'll see how what happens but i think zane eventually just breaks out so we'll see Speaking of weirder things happening, I'm going to switch over to one more uh, contract signing that happened a few days ago. My favorite. My favorite one. I wish it was our team, but sadly it's not. (laughs) So Vegas Golden Knights go out and grab Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel for one year, 1.5 mil. Um... This is a Vegas signing, isn't it? Yeah. This is literally... It's a Vegas signing. I, uh, love, I love it, man. I, How many hot dogs do you think he's going to be able to like just consume on a daily basis? I don't know. Is Vegas like a big hot dog city? Oh, it probably can Let's be. He'll, he'll, he'll probably be up. ordering hot dogs when he's at the gambling table. That's for sure. At the poker table, he's going to be... <laughs> he's either going to be there or playing hockey in Vegas. But yeah. Um, okay, so there, it's called Foot Long Hot Dog. There's one. It's a dine in place. Oh, my God. <laughs> also, American Island Las Vegas apparently has a bunch of hot dogs. Oh, they look pretty good in the images, too. Yeah, eh, four stars, not too bad. So. You know what? I bet Phil Kessel did his uh, research in the hot dogs. They're uh, gourmet, too, man. Ooh, I'm really? Saying, man. Damn, yeah, he's, he's asking for the best of the best. So there's a picture here. It's like gourmet. It's got lettuce on the bun and everything. The, oh the hot dog's cut up a bit, and there's like, is that a candle? Man. Good style. <laughs> yeah, I'm. it's funny, man. Uh, uh, this is. I didn't expect this. I love this. Phil Kessel, man. Like, the, he's such an old style player like the way he does things is so not modern but no. it works for him and i think that's why like he's had so many pro- like teammates have so much problems with him is because the dude doesn't put it doesn't seem like he may put in as much work or the extra extra work i say extra work as players do but he can still score that's what makes it funny he didn't have a great season this uh with arizona 
and I mean, but remember, Arizona's Arizona, right? They had an absolutely terrible season. Nothing was really working for them, and right, it's 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 a, it's a tank season again, right? Yeah. So, but let's see, right? I mean, Vegas is still trying to get other more players who've had um, no uh, has had previous success in the goal scoring column. So let's see if it can happen again, right? Yeah, for 80, well, he's still 82 games uh, this season. He put eight goals, 44 assists, and 52 points with a plus minus of minus 24. So, like, it's not Phil Kessel numbers, but for his time in Arizona, it's not that bad. Even when you were mentioning they are going into a rebuild. So, this might be a really good fresh start for Phil Kessel with Vegas because you already, we've talked about Vegas many times already on this. They did announce they're finally going to put Logan Thompson as starter goaltender number one. So hopefully that potential that you see in him actually comes out. Like I said, I think it can work. You have to see uh, as a team that's in the Pacific division don't work for maybe four games of the season, but other than that, (laughs) I don't care. With that all already having that star potential there and maybe it could work out really well for Phil Kessel, but so the best of uh, have fun with those hot dogs and that Vegas strip bro i uh it's just if because he's because he's such a memeable player it's so fitting that he goes such a a memeable franchise oh my god yeah like it just it's just funny to me right kind of is i honestly we'll see how it all works out um well is it gonna fit we'll see it's just it's such a Vegas signing, so I don't really have like an opinion yet until we see how it works. But it's it's Phil. It's I Phil. mean Phil the Thrill and Mr. Eichel there. I mean, it could work. Top you never know. F- first line: Michael Stone, Eichel, and f- f- Mr. Phil Yo, Castle. Bro, that's actually funny, man. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the. Sl- you got Carlson there too, right? Oh my God, yeah. yeah it, like Smith. Vegas Mar- is a. Uh... Marshall, so goodness gracious, hey, there's they're, they have scoring power. I mean, there's the truth in that. They they have po- they possibly possibilities if everything works out. They play their cards right, huh? Funny pun. Nah, nah, there could be a few thirty goal scorers, right? So that is we'll true. See how it goes, but. Hey Vegas, keep on uh, keep on gambling away. All right, sounds good. Keep this it. news, the next one I want to get into too. I I feel bad for Columbus on this one, but uh, Alexander Texier, I unfortunately will not be joining the club for the season, the entire season, because of personal reasons. Um, so I wish him all the best. Hopefully everything's all right, and hopefully he can come back and have a great season after this next season. But it sucks because he's a center, and they are eh, on centering on the center of depth, right? And I mean, who else do they have now? I mean, if Boone Jenner comes back, Boone Jenner comes back, there you go. But then you have him and Roslovic. And I, I, who else is a center for the Jackets? Like, Not much. They not don't have much. a lot of center depth. So it would be nice, you know, and that really sucks. I think I, I like Taxi. I don't – he doesn't have, you know – I mean, thirty in 36 games last season, he had 20 points. I mean, it's not terrible. I, 11 goals, 9 assists, but – Pretty uh, good. Especially for a kid his age. And, and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a round two pick, right? So yeah. it's not too bad there. There was a lot of – it looked like there was a lot of potential for this guy, especially on Columbus lacking on that center depth for sure. So this would have been a really nice piece for them to have. But, hey, man, uh, everyone's got the personal issues. So I hope for the best of your uh, future for sure. But – that must be a really tough loss for Columbus in the long run, for sure. 100%. I mean, look, look, let's just look at, like, uh, yeah, Boone Jenner, Brennan Gons. Um, who else here? Uh, that's what it's listed on as well. I'm trying to find the other centerpieces. Uh, Sean Corrali, Jack Rozovic, Cole Sillinger, young players, Gustav Nyquist, Emil Bemstrom. These are all listed as centers. I mean, they do have Ken Johnson. Okay, that's fair, right? Like, mm-hmm. Ken Johnson's definitely going to come in after that World Juniors he had. He's going to definitely come in. Young pieces and stuff, but yeah, I think the taxi lost sucks and wish him all the best. And as we move on here, um, Arizona. <laughs> so, their Arizona, the Arizona State, or the Sun Devils Arena, more or less, per se, is being changed to the name Mullet Arena. And as soon as this happened, everyone was like, Ken. Uh, they were like, Yamir Yager is the owner of this uh, <laughs> arena. I was like, yeah, he should be. I, wow, Why? just adding more memes. Mo- 
is to more... a very, very controversial, uh, terrible franchise like Arizona. Because first you get moved to an arena that you can't even put your own like logos on because it's Arizona State's arena. 5,000, something like that? Really? It's... I mean, it'll be hype. I mean, come on. It's a bunch of college kids watching hockey. That's going to be sick. But it's also Arizona, and they're in a tanking situation. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a weird season for yeah. them. So you're tanking. You're already in, like, a 5,000 5, uh, pack stand uh, stadium, and then you name your arena the Mullet okay, Arena. Okay, so I, I finally got the context. This is um, the Hockey News made this article. Yeah, the Hockey News made this article, so shout out to them. Uh, and quoted in this article by the Hockey News uh, by Stephen L- Ellis on the, on Tuesday there, was written that the Coyotes' newest rink, the 5,000 Arena, 5,000-seated arena in ASU, will be named Mullet Arena after philanthropists and ASU donors Donald and Barbara Mullet. So, actually, that would make sense why it would, but okay. to me, the coincidence that their last names are Mullet and it has to be in a hockey arena is pretty astounding and it's hilarious pretty, um so thank you actually. thank you for doing that that's awesome it's they're competing with ball arena yeah. that's for sure uh i think that's awesome i gotta admit like for how memeable the la- like the name of the arena is it is still a pretty sick like that's an nhl franchise made name for an arena it's mullet arena that's- i'll be honest though like the updates and stuff of the mullet arena i'm excited to, to watch games man like <laughs> it, like it looks like it's gonna be a really fun atmosphere. It's just not NHL size, right? But no, man. I, like if I was, if I ever play, if we ever play like our like, if we ever play like early games in there, oh my god, <laughs> you gotta watch that. Hilarious. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty sick. But you know, all this arena talk for me is just getting me thinking. Like with the Flames, right? Like when we do say goodbye to the Saddle Dome, which by the way, I went to a concert there. Uh, yesterday. It can carry sound and carry concerts, so I don't think that's the biggest problem, but I can see why, like... Actually, I think me- everyone's getting... Ro- I think the Flames Arena's getting but- roasted right now because everyone's seeing that video of Uyghur going through the Flames dressing room yeah, right now, and yeah. I'm like, it's oh, I know, brother. It is. <laughs> it was funny, too, is I've never once been like, man, I want to take a tour of the Saddle Dome and, like, look at the arena. But I've been th- I've thought about that with like the Habs like 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 the Bell Center or yeah. like Rogers Place even they got a sick dressing room right but they do but I don't care man Calgary's just so old like I look at it I'm like I'm pretty sure you can still see like like Lanny McDonald's like mustache uh, grease and stuff on the wall right oh like, my god it, it, it's it's crazy how old it is I mean I love it because of the nostalgia reasons but that we'll get one soon we'll get one soon I'm saying like, <laughs> what do you name it like. I mean, you got the what? Sa- you got the saddle. Dome. I mean, I mean, can you call it like? I don't know. Like you can't call it the saddle. Uh, I don't even know what they would even think. I, th- I, you know what? I want the idea of a deal getting set in stone for a new arena before we even mention names. To be honest, like, oh, it's amazing that we haven't gotten one yet. It's just, amazing to me. I want to find. I want to think of some funny names you could think of, right? Like, yeah, for sure. But <laughs> flames. Flames fans kind of got roasted on that one for that yeah, arena man. video. <laughs> we, he's like, he didn't seem. To be fair, I don't think he likes to like smile with with, with a lot of expression. But yeah, he, <laughs> it was in a smile of like, whoa, what a what cool arena! arena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know we have an old arena. I think okay, the Jer- Oilers fans. <laughs> I think I think the I think the jersey intrigue. Well, I mean, yeah, the jersey does intrigue me. Intrigue me more. I mean, it looks it's such a good looking. You know what was okay? The funniest part out of like all of that with the dressing rooms, did you see that they had the photos of like the players above it? Above yeah, the they like do, dressing yeah. room. I was kind of sitting there like, why would you ever need that? You have nameplate, you could put nameplates instead for it. No, but literally I've not. never seen that before. So I was kind of like, oh, that was kind of a, that was an interesting it, move. <laughs> you know, if you've never been to the Saddle Dome, go to a game. The atmosphere is fun. But yeah, it does have some problems. Like again, my biggest problem is the bathrooms because the lineups are oh, brutal, the worst. Brutal. It's and the urinals brutal. are like this close to each other, so you're literally like having a conversation with the dude. It's 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 the worst. But uh, yeah, a few things need to be changed. Keep the pocket dogs though, please, please keep the pocket dogs for the next arena. I would, I don't know. I wish I had the money to like ha- make that happen, but we'll see. 
Uh, I it, hope it does. I wouldn't be surprised. Speaking of kind of something ugly, I'm just going to put my finger right here and you're going to see what I'm talking about. It's the NHL 23 cover. And I I don't know what EA's idea was this to put palm trees in a winter video game, but I, I, I just don't like this cover. I just, it should have been Kale McCarr. <laughs> well, so someone's, in the, was it in one of our TikToks? Someone commented something where they said, uh, that it's probably because you know Tampa being like oh yeah, yeah right. winning the cup, <laughs> won the cup twice, been been to the finals three years straight, and so yeah, maybe it has something to do with that in the publicity sense. I don't. I'm fine with the players. It, I think it should have been someone like Makar, or it could have been. I think it was too early for Zegras, but I kind of see where they were going with their it marketing. It makes sense with the popularity and stuff, and Sir and Sir Nurse makes sense too, right? I mean, like it, one of the best, like players and 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 the, and the female side of the sport of of this generation 100 percent but i don't i just don't agree with like the, the looking down at the cover like you're posing like if you're being an american eagle uh uh model right you know for for their clothes or whatever like i think it should have been like one of them passing the puck to each other through them actually playing the sport i think it just would i like those sport like like one of my favorite covers has always been the claude Giroux one maybe this is because it was one of my first nhl games but they're just cool, like, seeing them, like, skate in action or whatever, like, taking a slap shot or something. Like, you can do so many cool things with it. Like, all these, like to me, what the biggest slap on the face was, was before they released it, it was like, he put something out. They were like, look at all these really cool fan concepts. And the fan <laughs> concepts are a hundred times better than, like, the, than the last, like, five, uh, well, last, last actual five covers? covers. Oh, my like, God, It's an yeah. embarrassment, right? Like, I... Some people like it. We don't like it. We don't. And it's, but it's solely on the fact that I, they could have done so much cooler stuff with the cover. They really right? could have. But whatever. Like, I'm not I'm not going to, like... I, I just don't know what, what I truly like about this cover because, like, I'll, I'll po- possibly show this photo as well. I'm going to point at it right now. They posted this one, and it was the Gen... They say it's for, like, the Gen 4 consoles, so, like, the last pass consoles that they use a different like cover. the PS4 and Xbox, yeah, Xbox the, One. Yeah, day, those yeah. ones, they, they chose a different cover for it, and I looked at that one, and that one looks better than the next con- next generation console one. It looks more clean. It makes more sense. You got the scoreboard in the wood arena in the well, back, it and it looks too, so right? good. And they even got, like, they got the whole, like, uh, net kind of like in like some like ice block so that mm-hmm. kind of looks cool but they're all dressed up and they actually it looks well, more like a hockey game even look better but i don't know i i just don't know how the nothing against the players i think zegris was maybe i think kale mccard deserved a bit more i'm not gonna hate on it with zegris that much or sarah nurse for sure but i think you could have done a lot more with this just don't make it – it's the same game every year, to be honest, at this point. So, EA, if you are somehow listening to this, I would appreciate are it if you change it. even real ice blocks? I'm looking at the picture right now. You are, eh? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably, like, just fake. It's just – it's so funny. Like, ice in the palm trees in the – I don't know. X-Factor edition. Right? X-Factor it, it, edition. E- even – oh, man. Even the font is just basic. It's so – I – why is everything minimalistic? I, I don't know. I'm intrigued. I'm too much whatever on this. Also, do you like... Okay, the jerseys that they're wearing. Do you think it was good for them to use their third? Because to be honest, their oh. third is better. Like, like the Ducks' third is better than their homes. But, man... Not by much. They better bring back the the OG, the, the Korea... The, what would you call... Like, I call it the eggplant color. It's not... I don't even know what type of purple you consider that. But that and, like, that kind of green... Mm-hmm. Bring it back, please. Like honestly, I think you should bring back the Disney movie Mighty Ducks. Yeah, that. Kind Actually, of, you know what? what I've like. heard so many. That kind of is convenient to this photo because I've heard so many people say this looks like they're like posing for a Disney Channel <laughs> kind yeah, of that, series, and I was like, to me, it was like because I'm thinking about I, I was I was at the mall, I was in American Eagle there, and I'm like, I, for some reason, I thought that I'm like, dude, it's like they're posing for. Like, like, like a clothing brand or yeah, something, right? Like, like you know, I, mean, I don't know. I just think it's funny, but I mean, like, they all got the white, they all got the white, uh, are those the white superstars? Yeah. Yeah. I think they're Stan the Smith's or superstar. That's funny. Oh man. my God. I yeah. mean, the team, I mean, Serenor's got that, got pretty good Team Canada jersey. Yeah. I don't mind the Zegret, the third jersey. No, do we wear black when we have no black in our country's flag? 
I've never understood that. It, it should have been the red. You know those uh, so. World Junior ones? The red with the Canada and the Maple. That should have been what you we had. That? I had. You know, in my opinion, I prefer the away jersey. The white the Team ones. Canada Actually, away you know what? I think actually I just that would have fit looks way good, better. Right? I don't know. The, the white and the black. just cons- And then there's like the gold. There's a gold trim, of course, on the, the, the logo. And I, I like it, but. Oh, that uh, actually happened. I don't even care. Like, like I said, I don't play these child games, man. I think they're like the same every year. They really and are. And to me, they do, they do get worse. I had way more fun playing NHL 13. I played th- that game like two years ago just to try it out, and I had way more fun than I did when I was playing NHL 20. I miss I miss I the days did. when 2K took over. 2K and you could drive, <laughs> and you could drive the Zamboni, Zamboni bro. <laughs> if anyone Let's understands go. that, oh my God, Let's that is go. that was legendary. But we are talking about how uh, Trevor Zegers is me- kind of wearing this third alternate jersey. But a few days ago in the NHL, they did release these. Uh, they did leak a little bit of new ones for uh, the retro jerseys. It's probably purposefully leaking, hey? Purpose, That's purposely what I'm thinking. leaking. So yes. it wasn't really the jerseys. We saw, we somewhat get the logos, and a lot of it is. You'll probably like, show the picture as well. Yeah, too. I'll also show that right here of what. But he was what's nice about. is we're getting. What what's nice about. is we're getting logos, and we can kind of get an idea of the jersey. And I'm excited for a lot of these. Anaheim does bring back the Mighty Duck logo. It's an orange, though, so I don't think we get that purple and green that we want. No. Arizona brings back Space Coyote. The mm-hmm. Bruins bring back, not the meth bear, but I can't remember what we call this one bear, but it's like the the older bear. I, I do like I do like the jersey. I don't mind it. Hmm. The Sabres, though, bring back, the not the Buffalo Slug, but uh, the um, the Hassock era Buffalo. I don't even know what we call it anymore. But like the, that, late, the early 2000s Buffalo? With the black jersey, my favorite. Oh one. yeah, yeah. Love they're, it. they're bringing those back. I good, can't wait to see good. That. I, Flames are gonna probably bring back the pedestal jersey. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm okay with that. I probably won't buy it. I'll probably buy the other jerseys that we'll talk about with Calgary in a sec. But mm-hmm. um, Chicago, same logo, but I think it's gonna be more old OG style. It definitely does look more like that. Abs will bring their state flag logo. Uh, jackets, same logo. Don't know what the colors will be. Stars are going to bring back their one where it has a star in the center that I think it, uh, it's, yeah, yeah, it has like the D where Dallas is represented on the Texas state um, map. Oh, really? So that's not bad. Oilers not bad. are bringing back the McFarland oil gear jersey or the, or the Comet, whatever you call it. It's got some orange in it. I, I don't mind that, I'll be honest. Panthers are bringing the palm tree with, with, the, with the hockey stick. The colors, I can't figure out what that's paying homage to. Um, Because they they were an expansion team, were they not? Which team? The Panthers, right? The Panthers... I swear they were an expansion team. No, I don't think they were... Oh, Actually, yeah, they were an expansion team. You should have. Well, I was saying that in a sec. But yeah, the LA Kings there, they're bringing back the crown, like the old 80s crown back in the the days. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like that one. The Wild, they're going to have... Again, uh, the North Stars colors, which I love. Uh, actually, that's really smart. Uh, Canadi- Canadians, they have a little bit of blue in it. A lighter baby blue colors. So that's not too bad. Devils, I think. Is there some green in there? Are they adding the yeah, green back? Yeah, hey. green, green, the green circle. This one I'm excited for. Um, some people hate it. Some people don't. We, I think we like both like it. The Fisherman is coming back. Yes, so the Islander like Fisherman's that. coming back. Fun, <laughs> Let's man. go. Yeah, the, uh, the Mike Milbury age, you know? Oh, dude. Yeah. So many. When that first got released, so many people hated it. I think they like only had it for one season just because of how many people hated it. It's funny. It's become a favorite. Yeah. Now it's like, it used to be hated, and then they brought it right back for us, and it was like, wow, we love this. <laughs> like, I, I think it's one of those years. I've always been like, like... I've never. I think I've maybe seen one person actually wear one in my life. I think they're. I think they're good looking, right? They but, could possibly become good looking jerseys if they do it right. Yeah, it just depends on the colors, right? Uh, Lady that. Liberty comes back with the Rangers. Let's go. Lighter I love blue, that too. so you'll probably get like a like an like a like a normal home team, home jersey color with with the uh, Lady Liberty on it. Wouldn't mind. Senators though looks pretty similar. It's just the same logo, but different brandings that's a weird looking one hmm. um now this one ah <sighs> robo penguin might be back 
I Robo Penguin's Robo back, Penguin eh? Will be back. Oh my I god. I actually am really excited to see Robo I Penguin come back. Love that so much. Huh. Robo Penguin. Robo Penguin uh, actually, good. you know what? I could see Crosby rocking in it too. Crosby would look great in that jersey. Crosby did he ever no, no. no he never no, had he, he wasn't dra when he was drafted, they brought back uh they were in these ones behind me. If you can't see that, I believe it was those jerseys they were in. Uh, what else we got? And then the Sharks. They're going to pay homage to the California Golden Seals. Uh -huh. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know how the logo will work. I mean, will it just have, like, the how, how it was, like, Seals was on the jersey? Maybe it's just, it's just Sharks? Yeah. Not too bad. I don't know if I could purchase it or not, but not bad. The Kraken. Hold on. Sorry, I lost my picture. The Kraken. So I don't know what it's going to pay homage to. Of course, the same logo. Maybe does it does the lettering look more Seattle Metropolitan esque? I don't know, but hmm. we'll see how that one it looks. I'm ex I'm just excited to see them. I don't know how they're not released already. How many days are we till opening season? Forty five uh, mine or a little less days. A little bit. I'm surprised they haven't been released yet. Hopefully they do soon though, because I can't wait to talk about them more. The Lightning are gonna bring back the uh, the OG logo, the one that they used in the one in 04. Puck was in by the way. Puck was so, in by the way. I would like seeing those jerseys back again. <laughs> we all know what the Canucks jersey is going to look like as it was leaked. Johnny Canuck. I do like that. Yeah. I don't mind it. Uh, Vegas will... I don't know what it's paying homage to. Same logo, of course. Probably going to pay homage to... They had an ECHL team, if I'm correct. Hmm. So I think that's probably what it's going to pay homage to. The Caps are bringing back the Screaming Eagle. Yes! And that's sick. That was and, sick. And I think it's going to be like the original color. Which is a good looking Like jersey. that dark black with the brown. Black and the blue yeah. and the brown. Yeah. So I'm not going to mind that one. And then the Jets OG jersey. But it's going to be just a blue and white coloring. Which little... Alright, so not bad. I just, I'm glad they brought the jersey back. But fair enough, fair enough. I think they should have done what, what, what we did with the Heritage Classic jerseys. Kept their OG ones. I, those are great looking jerseys. They those were. Those homes or something. But there's a few there. Um. Any of those sound intriguing? I don't know. Like, I'm excited for Robo Penguin. Robo That's Penguin. Okay. Uh, Metropolitan actually is going to have a lot of good jerseys. If we bring back Robo Penguin, uh, Washington's bringing back the Eagle, and then New York Islanders are bringing back the Fisherman, and then you have the Rangers bringing back Lady Liberty. And on it, so the Metropolitan is going to have some really good retro jerseys. Did we mention the Flames with Blasi yet? No, we haven't. I guess we can just jump right into that. Oh, because I was also going to mention that we're bringing back the Blasty jersey, and I've really wanted this jersey. I really want it on this wall for an episode, so hopefully we can get our hands on a Blasty jersey. It's, but It's going to be nice to watch. I mean, if we ever do go to a game where they wear it, it's going to mm -hmm. be nice to watch it as a third. Really? On would. the ice. Because we haven't seen Honest, it yet. I've honestly, seen you it. should just keep it as a third, like, completely. I, I, I No, I'm pretty sure that's the point, because I think the pedestal is the reverse retro, and that the idea is that the Blasty is going to be the third. Because people keep getting, getting like, the jersey early. Now, the difference with this one is it has that, like, new update with it, where it has, like, flames on, like, the sleeves. Uh, and that's definitely not what the other blasts he had so if it's the same one as a third i love it it's, i can't wait to see it it I looks so what, good though that you can't really add a whole bunch of changes to it though <laughs> i just don't know what games they'll use it for like will they have certain special nights like they'll probably release a schedule once they release the jerseys yeah, out definitely. but honestly i don't see them releasing anything no 100 percent. i mean i'm excited i'll like, i think we'll both probably buy a blast he like I'm committed to it. I, if what, I see it, what, I'll commit to it. What number are you getting, man? I'm, I'm still thinking about getting Lindholm. So I'm Lindholm. I'm either – I'm kind of stuck on two right now. If you guys drop in the comments some names, that would be cool. But I'm thinking either going like – I could even possibly ask for Iggy on the back of it just because it would be kind yeah. of be like, oh, uh, old – retro jersey like that with blasty it's and funny. Iggy played in it that it's would be funny sick. you say that though because there's one that he the 25th year was that 0506 season and of course with the c and everything going for 600 bucks on ebay Jeez, oh, what a good looking jersey though. but then i was also thinking about putting someone new because i still have the dubai one i was thinking either mon japani and then you could i could possibly put huberto on it <laughs> They could, right? I could, like, put, really I could put Huberto onto that jersey, but hey, I just uh, I guess we'll have to see for sure on that one. If you have anything else, uh, I just 
Yeah, I'm just excited. I mean, I just want to buy new jerseys. Yeah, we're... <laughs> we're getting back in the collection, man. But some of these jerseys are looking good. Like, I would love the Robo Penguin. I mean... The Sabres, right? Sabres would uh, actually be a low. I mean, if the point. Ducks somehow smarten up and they get the o- the old G colors back, then yes. They actually get it right this they time, do. yes. But like, I weirdly don't see them doing it still. <laughs> I'm just worried that these reverse retros are going to be worse than the, the year prior because what sucked they is not many people can year. watch them because of the COVID stuff. So if you don't have that. Right, so we never got to see some of those. Like, like the Jackets jersey, I love that red. Mm-hmm. Love that jersey. That was true. Nah, that's a good one, but we'll see. Hey, man, can dream with buying all these, being able to afford all these jerseys. And yes. What do you, what do you guys think in the comments? There, any of these jerseys or these leaks that you like? Uh, I'm guessing. I'm gonna guess the Robo Penguins up there is one of the best. But what do you think? Yes, and... for sure. And these Robo, uh, these reverse retro jerseys are making us uh, want to spend more money on jerseys. But hey, like T Dog said over here, a man can dream. I'm um, wanting to buy those. And hey, guys, that will wrap up episode 31 of Fucking Stuff. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. We're almost at 50 on YouTube. We've been saying this a little bit. I'm going to just keep bugging you about it. If you do enjoy this episode, we much appreciate a like, a comment and a subscribe it would really help if you guys want to check us out other than youtube we're on tiktok instagram buzzsprout and spotify and many and we also have our website as well if you guys did enjoy this thank you so much for everything and i guess uh keep rocking in the free world boys uh we'll see you on the next one peace peace